We know that in order to feed the world's population in the next 50 years, we need to grow a lot more food. And to do that, we have to be more efficient in every aspect of agriculture. And so we have an R&D team, we have multiple agronomists with field trials all over the globe, and part of our job is to make sure that we are finding those new solutions. I would say one of my biggest objections when I go to a farm today is understanding, well, should I just put more pounds of nitrogen on versus a stabilizer. And you know, I've always tried to have simple analogies, and one of the easiest ones I can always talk about is a fence. So if I've got a barbed wire fence and cattle on the backside and there's a hole in there, am I gonna use that little investment and close that gap or just keep putting cattle in and you know, letting them go out? So even if we put on an additional 50, 60 pounds, that's still untreated urea. That is you know, subject to, to some kind of, of uh, true nitrogen loss. So in today's world, if we can truly bring that value back to the farm, understanding that we are truly keeping nitrogen in the form that it needs to be for the plant at a certain place and not allowing that nitrogen to gas off, to leach, you know, whatever form that it's going to be in, that is probably one of the biggest objections that I face today. So volatilization loss is the loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere as ammonia gas. One of the phenomena that we see in our research is that the higher the nitrogen application rate, the higher the amount of volatilization loss we can experience as a percent of N applied. And when we translate that to absolute pounds, it's, it becomes an even larger amount. And so it has caused us to develop the mantra that more N is not the answer. If we apply more unprotected N, we will simply lose more of our nitrogen investment. And so the reason that that happens is a concentration effect. The urea granules uh, or the UAN application zone, the nitrogen molecules are closer together and those zones of pH increase tend to overlap and influence one another, causing a more rapid uh, and, and greater magnitude change in pH, which increases volatilization loss as a function of nitrogen concentration. One of the ways that nitrogen can move through the soil and be lost to the crop is through leaching. Leaching is a process where nitrogen simply keeps moving down through the soil, carried by water, rainfall for the most part, that moves through the soil. When the amount of rain is greater than the crop is taking up, then some of it moves down through the soil. And if it gets to tile line, that's one way that it can leave the field. And in other lighter soils, it can just continue to move down the water table. The process of denitrification is another way that we can lose nitrogen that we apply as fertilizer. When soils become saturated with rainfall, microbes are unable to breathe because of a lack of oxygen. And so instead, they use nitrate, nitrogen, to breathe and they convert that nitrate to nitrogen gas, which comprises 78% of the atmosphere, and that nitrogen is then lost to the atmosphere. Weather uncertainty plays a large role in the amount of nitrogen that is susceptible to loss from any cropping system. And so we often get the question from growers, how do I protect my nitrogen investment against those losses? Uh, one of the best ways that, that we can think about that is to utilize the 4R nitrogen management construct. 4R stands for right source, right rate, right timing, and right placement. Uh, when you think about all those four factors and the various ways that we can apply nitrogen, there are almost an infinite number of combinations of nitrogen applications that we can use to manage the cropping system, and many of them work very well. Regardless of which nitrogen source you choose to use on your farm, there are technologies available to help protect that nitrogen from loss. Two of the most important technologies would be urease and nitrification inhibitors. A urease inhibitor is designed to minimize volatilization loss from either urea or UAN that is applied to the soil surface or close to the soil surface. We often refer to those applications as above ground protection. Now urea that we apply to the soil, it converts fairly quickly to ammonium and carbon dioxide. It simply breaks down quickly in the soil to that. The problem is if it's lying on top of the soil or isn't incorporated into the soil when that happens, that 
process can release ammonia from the urea. And that's what we call volatilization loss. And the urease inhibitor, it's a specific inhibitor of the urease enzyme. Now that's found in microbe, but it's also found sort of just out there in the soil. Nitrification inhibitors are designed to slow the nitrification process and hold nitrogen in the ammonium form longer than untreated sources of N. The inhibitors of the nitrification process are a biological inhibitor. They're what we call a bacteriostat. They don't kill all the microbes, but they slow them down greatly. Inhibitor technologies not only help the farmer protect their nitrogen investment, they also afford the farmer greater operational flexibility with respect to timing of application. It's not just trying to sell product, it's really understanding what solutions do customers need, what problems need solved. Again, not every situation is the same, but what we want to do is we want to create solutions that can kind of fit whatever the need is of not only the grower, but the retailer. Because obviously we're all involved in the process throughout and we just want to have those solutions that create value. One of the core things that we do at Coke Agronomic Services is to make sure that we bring scientifically backed products to the marketplace. And at the heart of that is our research team, both from a, a scientific research and development perspective in our laboratories, but also our team of agronomists that are focused on conducting third-party research around the world. And that research is really focused on making sure that the recommendations that we make and the products that we bring to the market are proven and are the right product for that right application that the grower is using, wherever they may be in the world. A grower having that knowledge and understanding that there's credible research and science behind the products enables them to make an educated decision. It enables them to make a decision that is one that can lead to more sustainable efforts on their farm and truly empowers them. And as I think about how that relates to, to the decisions that we make on, on berry farms, we're not just taking any company's word for, for the claims that they're making. And, and so we're, we're really looking at the information and the science behind the product and trying to take into account and, and, and weave through what we view as, as credible resources for, for data information. So fertilizer, nitrogen fertilizer specifically, can be one of the most expensive inputs that, that a grower can have on their farm. And so our products and our technology, our nitrogen efficiency portfolio, brings a tool to the grower that allows them to get more out of their investment. What that means is that a grower can utilize our technologies, increase their yield potential, and really that allows them more opportunity and more resources to be focused on forward-looking things, such as taking care of their land for future generations.